This is Loch Doon Castle, one of the two main castles in the ancient earldom of Carrick. But this is not its original site. The original site was actually out there in the middle of the loch. It even takes its slightly unusual shape and structure from the shape of the island. Now, during the 1930s, the hydroelectric scheme that runs from Loch Doon down through Loch Ken to Tongland and the Solway was constructed and it required the raising of the level of Loch Doon. So the castle was partially deconstructed and rebuilt right here before the loch was flooded. It was originally built by Robert the Bruce's father, also Robert, at some point in the late 1200s. Now, there's a wee story about how the earldom of Carrick came to the Bruce's. Apparently, Robert's father was out riding along the shore somewhere in Carrick, near to the other castle at Turnberry, and met the newly widowed Countess of Carrick's, Marjorie. Marjorie was so taken with him that she badgered him to come and stay with her at Turnberry. After just a few weeks, they were married. That made Robert Earl of Carrick and, of course, led to King Robert's birth. In 1306, after the murder of John Cummin, Sir Christopher Seaton came to hide in the castle while it was being held for Robert by Sir Gilbert de Carrick. It fell to the English that same year and Christopher Seaton was captured and taken to Dumfries where he was subsequently hung, drawn and quartered for his part in the Red Cummins' death. The castle remained in English hands until it was recaptured in 1314. Now, the dam here was first built in 1916 when an aerial gunnery school was built here at Loch Doon to train pilots in the First World War. The dam was to provide power for the school. The weather conditions here in the Glen were just too inhospitable for the small planes and the school was abandoned. The dam was then enlarged and incorporated into the hydro scheme that led to most of the castle being moved in 1935. The castle was moved to preserve the fine arches you can see here. When the level of the loch is drained, the rest of the castle can still be seen on the island.